He's got the whole world in his hand. With today marking one year since the passing of Wyndham Rotunda, the person who played the character Bray Wyatt on WWE TV, I felt this video was appropriate to make because I'm sure there is a lot of tributes coming in from friends and family all over social media today. I'm sure a lot of people have Bray Wyatt in their thoughts today. And I really didn't want to make a sad video. I wanted to talk about something that I feel passionately about and something I know Bray felt passionately about. The fact that Bray Wyatt changed wrestling forever. When Bray Wyatt would burst onto WWE screens, he instantly became a character you had to pay attention to. Even though most of the time, understanding his promos was very difficult. Most of the time, they were nonsensical. As a fan, as a Firefly, you got rewarded later on. With the debut of the Firefly Funhouse and the character of The Fiend, Bray Wyatt did something no one else has ever done in wrestling before and made his entire career matter. Alongside his merry misfit collection of puppets, Bray Wyatt would tell us the stories of his career. He would hint at references that he once said that didn't make sense at the time, but now they did. Loads of little Easter eggs were planted in episodes of the Firefly Funhouse, unlike anything we'd seen before. What this created was Bray Wyatt's army of fireflies who would spend time, if it was on this channel, whether it was on Jody Gilly's show of Abby's Window, whether it's Wrestling Wizard, whether it's The Botch Guy, whether it's Conman167, people would theorise and talk about what was Bray, what was The Fiend going to do next. And what did all these little references and things that Bray was saying and doing actually mean? How could we link them back to his previous incarnations of Bray Wyatt? And how could we make them actually make sense for the modern day story? And that's what we did. You had to go back. You had to watch every Bray Wyatt promo, every Bray Wyatt match, every time Bray Wyatt was on screen from 10 years prior, because you had to know the story he was currently telling you. What Wyndham Rotunda realized was that actually, there is a large group of fans who love ideas like comic books and movies and plots and they'll follow things through multiverses and actually try and make sense out of the nonsensical. A perfect example, if you're a fan of Marvel, you'd have seen recently they revealed Robert Downey Jr. playing Doctor Doom and instantly there is thousands of YouTube videos, thousands of TikToks, thousands of posts on social media accounts asking how, why, when, what multiverse is this a part of and how could we potentially see it tie into this universe? That is what atmosphere that one announcement creates. And while on a much lesser scale, Bray Wyatt simply tweeting something would again garner the attention and capture people's imaginations to the exact same level. It would allow Bray Wyatt to evolve. It would allow Bray Wyatt to do things never seen before in wrestling and to constantly change up his character. All the same time, yes, things were goofy. Yes, things were funny. And yes, sometimes they didn't exactly work out. But that was all part of the story. And I think because of what Bray Wyatt created in that world he believed that wrestling fans would love to be a part of, even after death, the death of Wyndham Rotunda, Bray Wyatt's character is still very much alive in the WWE and not just in the usual here's a tribute show or here's a tribute documentary. We literally now have the Wyatt Six. This is a group that is not only paying tribute to Bray, but they are growing and blossoming as they tell their story and grow their individual characters the same way that Bray Wyatt went from being a cult leader to becoming a fiend. It's still highly speculated that the Fiend character could potentially return to the WWE again. Now, that seems implausible, but the groundwork that Bray Wyatt actually laid out would set that up perfectly. We know that the Fiend is a demonic spirit called Samael who inhabited the body of Bray Wyatt. In retrospect of his career, Bray Wyatt's now gone. The character of the Samael, the Fiend, hasn't gone and therefore could inhabit someone else. Bray continues to revolutionise wrestling in that way. Long after death, he inspires people and changes how people perceive pro wrestling. 
And it doesn't matter which character he portrayed, Bray Wyatt will always be missed for that reason. And while Bray Wyatt undoubtedly leaves a giant legacy outside of the squared circle, inside the squared circle, the Wyatt Six right now continue the legacy of the storytelling that Bray Wyatt created. And what that's done is allow for any child currently watching WWE, whether they've watched it with their father, their friends, whoever, and they've been inspired by Bray Wyatt. They've enjoyed the theorizing. They've enjoyed the storytelling. And one day that child's going to want to be a professional wrestler. And when that child is sat in the future in a creative meeting, when they're shooting the breeze with their friends and coming up with ideas for their wrestling character, they're going to think about the memories that they had watching Bray Wyatt, the storylines that they fantasy booked in their head, or that when they played with their action figures. And they're going to be inspired by Wyndham Rotunda. They're going to be inspired by the character of Bray Wyatt. Much like Wyndham Rotunda was inspired by Waylon Mercy. Dan Spivey inspired the Bray Wyatt character. A child breaking into professional wrestling in 10, 15, 20 years time is going to be inspired by Bray. They're going to see the cinematic universe the way the Firefly Funhouse match was done. And they're going to think, I could do something similar to that. That could be something that I could revolutionise. That I could take Bray's building blocks and build up to make it even better than what we've already seen. And that is inspiring pro wrestling. At the time of recording, the Wyatt Six have only been in WWE for about two months. And already they have silenced a whole bunch of critics who were critical of the idea that the Wyatt Six could be successful. That the idea that this deeper thinking style of storyline could be successful in wrestling without Bray Wyatt. They've proven that it can work. And with Bray Wyatt's inspiration for generations to come, it can continue to evolve and continue to be successful. And I get it. This storyline, this kind of thing isn't for everyone. And that's okay. But the, for the people that are entertained by characters and storytelling and theorizing, it's amazing. I can tell you from first-hand experience, I've met some of the best people in the world because we've been talking about wrestling, namely about Bray Wyatt and theorizing the funhouse, theorizing the fiend. And it's amazing. Bray and his world is one of the reasons the See Wrestling YouTube channel even exists in the first place. The Bray Wyatt world is the reason we have a Discord server. It's the reason we do voice chats. It's the reason we as a community have fun. And for that, I'll always say thank you, Bray. He brought people together unlike anything we've ever seen before. But I know we'll see it again because of Wyndham Rotunda's legacy in WWE. So on a hard day like today, yes, take a moment, pay respects, but smile because Bray Wyatt is forever. He's got the whole world in his hands.